Hey folks, it's Russ with Wrenching with Russ. Today we're going to show you how to change your headlights and your turn signal bulbs on a 2012 Ram 1500 pickup truck. Don't let the dealers rip you off. They want $186 just to look at this. You can do this in 15 or 20 minutes. So let me show you how to do this. Let's get started. All right, the first thing you're going to do is you're going to take the grill off. Now I know that sounds intimidating, but it's not. You're just going to pop these little plastic keepers out on this rubber mat cover. If you've got this rubber mat cover on the front of your truck just like we do, you're going to pop these out and it doesn't take anything to get them out. And then once you get these popped out, there's only four bolts that hold the front of this on there. There's one on each end and two in the middle and I'm pointing them there and showing you. And all you're going to do Take those four bolts out. And once you take these bolts out, then I'll show you how to get this grill out. It doesn't take anything to get it out. You want to make sure you're careful with it, though, because, again, it's just plastic, and it's going to break, and it's going to snap if you don't do it right. And it's going to cost you another grill or a trip to the junkyard to get one. So pull these bolts out. All right, the next thing you're going to do to take this grill out is once you get the four bolts out, you just lean it towards you, and the bottom just snaps in. But you just want to wiggle it till it pops out, because if not, you'll snap these bottom catches off, these plastic catches, and they'll just break, and then you'll have to, again, get another grill. So once you wiggle it, it should pop right out, just like ours did. Set your grill aside. And now there's two bolts on the headlight. And I'll show you where they're located. One at the bottom, and there's one at the top. You take these bolts out. And when you get these bolts out, don't go yanking on the headlight. You're going to snap it off. Let me show you where the other part of that headlight keeper is. There's a little door in the fender well right there. You pull that back, and right inside of there is a white slide catch. And we're going to show you. I'll put a red arrow on it. And now that slide keeper just slides down. And once you unlock it, then you can pull the headlight straight out. And I'll show you again. Right there it is. This is the other side of it. This is how it works. It basically just locks in place, slides up and down. That's what holds the back of the headlight in. So now that you've got the headlight out, figure out what bulb you want to replace and replace the bulb. Ours was a turn signal. So we basically just unlock it. As you can see, the bulb was actually broke. So that's the issue that we were dealing with. So once you get your bulbs replaced, just reverse the process, lock your bulb back in your headlight assembly. And then put your headlight back in. And once you get it slid all the way back in place, make sure you lock that locking slide. And just pulls down on it. Now the back of the headlight's locked in. Now you replace your two bolts in the front.
and then put your grill back on. And again, don't forget the bottom latch as the keeper and the top of the latch has like an L channel. It snaps in on the top and be very careful when you put it back in. But it should just go right back in the same way it came out. And then once you get the bottom snapped in, just adjust the front, line up the bolt holes, and put your four bolts back in the top. And that's all there is to it, folks. Why pay someone else thousands of dollars on $186 an hour to dealership when you can do it yourself? Don't forget to like and subscribe. We'll send you more videos.